welcome to another fabulous, Hello. fantastic, another adjective beginning with F episode of Fuse News. Okay, before Michael Jackson died, he was preparing for a massive comeback yeah. tour. It was an incredible show, completely interactive, 3D. It was like anything we'd ever seen before. So the question was, what happened to that show? What happened to all that hard work? Well, check this out. The biggest thing about bringing 3D on tour is just that you can really engage the fan. They feel like they are actually a part of the show. They feel like they could reach in and touch the image. We got an early look at this immersive environment created by the stereoscopic visual pioneers over at 3D Live Events on their final day of testing at the Manhattan Beach Media Center Studios. We're actually in one of the Avatar sound stages, and we just had James Cameron in here a few minutes ago to check out what we're doing, and it was pretty exciting. The new interactive element that was originally created for Michael Jackson's This Is It tour is finally hitting the dance floor. It's such a cool thing to have a chance to pioneer something and really be the first DJ to take something high res and 3D and really illustrate that vision and take on the road. This massive 3D LED wall consisting of 91 panels is the highest resolution of its kind. We were on silent films and we all have ears, so we added sound. We were in black and white films, so now we have color. We all have two eyes, and we see in dimension all day long. So why the hell shouldn't our entertainment also have dimension to it? Page uses a unique stereo imaging process called passive polarization in his show, bringing custom graphics in a 3D space. But it all looks blurry on our standard cameras until... So what we're going to do is make a little ghetto 3D camera rig for your uh, your lens here so that when you're looking at it you'll at least get a perception of of the 3d um, on a 2d camera basically what i'm gonna do is just cut this bad boy to fit your lens housing once our lens is fitted with the polarization film we get a formal demonstration put the uh the driving goggles on and we'll trigger the intro here as you can see the intensity kind of builds and we can do uh, different speed ramping get it going really fast kind of slow it down when the song mellows out a bit. When showtime rolls around, there's no turning back. This is the flagship show, you know, where this is everything being thrown against the wall. We're trying to think the first time in front of a live audience, so it's do or die. It's the stuff you thought about years ago, and now it's finally at a point where it looks amazing. This is the level where it needed to be to really turn heads, and the heads have been turning. So they used it for raves. It's an interesting flip. It is. No sparkly gloves, nope. none of the stuff. A lot of sparkles on the screen, though. There are, and it's worth it for that.